In this episode, we're going to cover two ways for you to add a variation to an existing listing. So the first way will be how to add a variation to the existing listing you already created. So you are the creator of the initial listing on Amazon and you want to add a variation to it. And then the second way will be if there's an existing variation on Amazon or an existing product on Amazon that you didn't create the listing, but you want to add a variation to it. I'm going to show you how to do both ways in this video. So check it out if you're having problems adding variations. This should be able to help you. And if the video doesn't cover the issues that you're having, please leave it in the comments below as a question to me, and I will do my best to answer it as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and let's check out the screen now. Okay, so you're adding a, a variation to an existing parent child relationship in your inventory area of Seller Central. If you don't know where that is, I'm going to show you, but you likely do. You just go to inventory, manage all inventory. Then you'll want to do a keyword search for the product that you're looking for so that we can isolate it from the rest of your inventory. And then you want to scroll down and find where the parent is. And the parent is basically the listing where you would have this little drop down arrow and then all the other variations follow it. What you want to do if you want to edit that and add another variation is just go to the right and click edit. Then what you want to do is you want to go to variations in the upper area of here, click on that. And what we can do is we can either add a very specific variation or we can add a color. Let's just say we're adding gold. Okay, I'm going to change how that looks to gold. And then you click add. And then what you can see is down here we have this other information. What I can do is I can go here and now start to fill out these fields. Now these are shoes, so I'm really just copying what's already there for the other variations. So adult, because there's a lot of variations here, the website runs pretty slowly. This is not my computer, it's usually pretty fast. This is a little bit slow. And I'm just basically, again, copying what you see here into that medium. And the only thing that's gonna change is my size. So we're gonna start with a size like seven. And I'm gonna add that. And again, it's slow and then just click add. And let's see what happens. So I've added that here and there's size seven. I have to complete these fields like the SKU. I might say Tegra is the brand, gold is the color, seven. Okay, and then you're gonna need to assign either a UPC or a GTIN. So let's say I have a UPC, this is new. The price is set at 79 and for now I have zero inventory there. The UPC, let me just put this in here. Okay, so once you have a valid UPC in there, you can click save and finish. I'm not gonna use this UPC for this product, but once you click save and finish, then what you're gonna wanna do is edit the pictures because of course this is color gold, the rest are different other colors. So we're gonna get to that, but what I'm gonna also show you is like maybe I wanted to add another size, right? I'm gonna enter this stuff here again, and let's try to do another size here and click add. And there it is. Now I have a new size and I would just continue to enter this information, change this queue to this, have the UPC ready, then you would click new and so on. So that's how you add the variations and then you click save and finish. Once you do that, then what you then need to do is you need to go back to the inventory file. And let's say this was the gold that I just set up. There really wouldn't be a picture there because I didn't assign a picture. I would need to click edit on that product. And then I need to go and change some of the details. So what I need to do is go to the product identity and you can see where this says green numeric. Um, that's good. What I need to do is go to the images and if this was what was there, I would need to delete it because this is, uh, I should be working on the gold variation. And then I would update the photos for the gold and save. And that is how you create a variation using your existing variation family. But now what we're gonna talk about is how to add a variation to an existing family. That's the second part of this. That is if you don't have the family in your inventory file. So here I have an example of Gatorade where there's five variations, fruit punch, glacier cherry, etc. And we have a new flavor that Gatorade selected us to roll out and we wanna add it to this family. What you need to do is click on any of these products and get the ASIN from that product and click copy. 
okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the add a variation area, which means you need to go to catalog, add products. It will take you to this window and to the right, it says create variations using variation wizard. So again, you're using this if you didn't wanna use uh, the other approach that I talked about. Okay, so you would click on create variations using variation wizard. And then what will happen is if I put in the ASIN that Gatorade was, it would pull up Gatorade. But what I did was we're gonna still work with Tegra since this is a product that um, I'm working with. You can see all the massive amounts of um, products here. What I'm gonna, this is again, if we were using uh, a situation where I didn't have any of these products in my inventory, but Tegra selected me to roll out the gold, I'm gonna just click add variation as you just saw. I'm gonna set the skew as Tegra gold seven, that we're gonna do size seven. I'm gonna just copy and paste this title and change this to, to gold and numeric seven. I can choose the GTIN, but we would use that UPC. What you're gonna wanna do is, here's the color gold. Again, we wanna type that in here, uh, medium and so on. So zero, 79 and save. Okay, so I tried to uh, click save and what I need to do is put in a size here, size seven. Let's see if that accepts that. All right, so it accepted it. So we filled out all the fields here. I got the UPC in there. I got all this information. Now I can continue to add child relationships. You know, if I wanted to add another variation, I could do that, gold eight, gold nine, and so on. What you wanna do now, cause you're gonna need to upload this file. You wanna click generate template. What it's gonna do is generate a template down here. So the last time I did an upload was August 22nd, right? So let's just hit refresh and see what's going on with this template. So what you can see once I hit refresh is here's this template that was generated and it's still in progress. So I'm waiting for Amazon to complete that process. And I'll just hit refresh again and see if it's there and now it's ready. So what you wanna do then click download and here it is down here. I wanna click show in folder, that's off my screen. So I have the file and now what I wanna do is go to catalog, add products via upload, okay? Upload your inventory file and basically drag and drop or you know, locate it, but I have the file in another folder, drag and drop it and upload file. Then it will take you to this screen where you can see here we are September 6th. Um, I'm gonna click refresh and see what's going on. Actually, here we are September 7th. This is my file that I uploaded, upload status in progress. Click refresh. Okay, that can take about 10 minutes and we're gonna come right back once that uh, downloads. Okay, so once this updates, and this can literally take like 10 minutes to do that, you want to download your processing report. So click on that. Uh, you want to open that up. And then you can click uh, enable editing. Okay. And then what you want to look at is the feed processing summary. So there's an error here, uh, target gender, and then request approval for Tegra that apparently I no longer have approval for uh, listing products. So I would have to resubmit my paperwork, okay? It's been about a year since I've sold this product. Those are the two things that I actually need to work on. So what you would do is you go to the template and you look for the things that they talked about in the feed processing summary and you correct those and then basically resubmit. So here it is, I have to put female, let's say. I would actually work on getting this taken care of first before I do that. Once you make those corrections, save the file, close it out. If you had everything ready to go, go back to upload your inventory file and drag and drop and repeat the process until basically your listing is set up and you're ready to go. That is how you add a variation to an existing listing that you didn't set up.